and let's go. I like tequila, damn, this shit tasty. Can you not? I made about a million off a of pink beanie. I feel like my life is a movie, damn, it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy, it's bag or die. I always take my the 100th episode. Now we're starting off strong and we're always starting off hot. Ooh, ooh, Guys, this is Dope Dub Podcast. The Sunday, Sunday Morning Smoke, Smoke Show. Show. I did 17 lines to get ready for this. Actually, I did 100. One for every episode, every guest, including I the guests that we him. deleted. I try to stop. Him. How you do that much cocaine and come late? That's crazy. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say, that's why he was late, because he did 100 lines late. before. I was, by the way, as I was 20 minutes late, I was like, motherfucker. Well, as I was 20 <laughs> lines in. Episode, yeah. He's before, like, fuck, I have to do 80 you more. You know what's crazy? <laughs> wait, wait. Dylan, you picked the wrong time to be, the wrong day to be late. I got to leave. You gotta leave. I gotta leave at six thirty. Well, thanks for uh. Well, guess, that's plenty well, of time. Well, guess what? Yeah. Well, guess to do what? A seven guess, o'clock. Guess show what, Kevin? We're going to Jersey. To do seven thirty show or seven o'clock? Eight thirty. Eight. You're fine. Jersey's right the fuck there. Yeah. We're in the Lower East Side. Hi, this is mad depressing. Yeah, Guys, sorry. welcome to the podcast. I'm your host Dylan J Negri. Go follow me at Dylan J. Negri, and thank you for coming to the podcast. If you're a new subscriber because of the YouTube shorts, thank you for being here. We're a, a silly bunch of just asshole comedians making our way a through New York, New York City. <laughs> New York City. Sorry, I can't talk because I did 100 lines. Uh, sitting beside me is my best friend, the man, the round man of wisdom, as we call him, Kevin Sanchez. Hey. How are you feeling, Kev? Other than that, uh, you have to leave shit. And you know. uh, well, I feel great, bro. I mean, yesterday was I having an existential crisis? Of course, for like two, three days. You were I always know when Kev has those because I don't get responses to my fucking texts. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, he's like a character out of a movie. But you back? Uh, I'm back enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that sounded solid, but it's solid. We're, we're gonna get you by the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying. We're to have you there by the end. Of- well, I'm gonna make a Billy for a company. Soon, well, you so. need a doped up to get you back. You need a doped uh, up to get you right every way. Every every yeah. week, doped to get you right. Let's go to the other side of the table. Over on the other side, you got DC Williams. DC does it, this is saga. I keep Thank you guys. Like follow me on Instagram at DC Williams. Please don't Williams follow him. Uh, he needs I post appreciate more. you guys. Um, Lead him with plugs. I'm coming. I'm coming. Always I'm coming. be plugging. And guys, mm-hmm. and guys. I mean, for the hundredth episode, there's uh-huh. no other guest that we wanted for this episode. <laughs> this was planned. There was never always a, intentional. And it was from day one. Even no. when we didn't have her as a producer, we did not. We go said. This people. is her. Now on the other my mom side of the f- shit, and she was like, "There's gonna be somebody named." Not- oh, that was your mom. That was my mom. Oh, wait, remember? Right. She told- oh, wait, on, on the twentieth episode, we're like, "Moms, is this gonna work out?" Tell, goes, show her what she did. She goes, "Nah." That's what she oh, did. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a whole act. <laughs> and we, out. you didn't know what it meant at the time. No, I was like, well, "Nah." You liked that a lot, bro. Because man, you goes, told- "Not a yellow." No, she was <laughs> not a yellow. Because no, she was sitting yeah. Indian like this. She was just like. That's racist. Is it racist or is it Natalie. fast forwarding? Yeah, so I don't. I, I, guys, I want to say I'm kind of stuck. I need help. <laughs> oh my god, Hold bro, bro, don't sit crisscross. Uh, why do we get? Let's get into Finish a fucking my intro. Fucking intro, man. Yeah, guys. sell them again. Finish guys, my fucking intro. From the <laughs> other side of the glass, the hundredth episode special. Ooh, Natalie the Chico. Oh, what about that? Let's fucking what go now. Nah, she took the shades much. off after the intro. <laughs> she was what ready. That? I was waiting. She was ready for that shit. I was waiting. You don't, you don't want the shades? No, I did a dramatic shade oh, removal did. and it sucked. Yeah. So I'm glad you didn't <laughs> see it. Don't worry. I uh I threw my glasses at the doped up opening. Is that why they're fucked up? At, I don't, honestly, that might be that pair. Uh, yeah. Someone found them and gave it back to me. That's and, cute. And I was already wearing other sunglasses that I brought because I planned for that. Uh huh. And I threw it against the wall, and still to this day, I, I saw that shit smack the back of the wall. Well, I, I, threw it, I, I threw it way too hard, and I will. I'll bring the footage because we have the whole thing recorded. Back of the yeah. wall, far from the soon. stage too. Just and bro, that. I knew where to throw it. I knew where to throw it so it hit the wall and bounced down. But dude, and it hit Ibrahim's girlfriend, and that's why he don't like us. <laughs> the guy that uh, owned the comedy club yeah, we were running. It. No, no, he's fine, dude. I, I don't know if you've seen the footage. I almost slipped. I have never told y'all this. Oh word! I almost ate shit for the grand. I literally throw it, and my dumb twinky body <laughs> threw it, and my hand like that- carried my weight, and I was like. At the doped up opening? Swear to God. That was like, that would have been like, what's your name? Jennifer Lawrence falling up the stairs for, at the Oscars. Oh, been yeah, like, like your big, big moment. moment. And yeah. You just fucking oh, yeah. eat shit. Yeah. It probably would have gotten a good laugh. Though. Yeah, I, I bet think. it would. <laughs> it would have killed. That's my. Yeah. Go, Guys, let's bring up the first comic. And then, he, and then you start telling jokes, and everyone's like, boo, do that other thing again. Yeah. 
Right. Thanks, changes, Natalie. It changes Dylan's career path. He becomes like an act out comic. Oh my God, dude. Carrot top. I, I, I literally just go backwards in time of comedy. I'm like, hey, guys, I was mulling this over. Wouldn't it be funny to like fuck a stool? Kev was mm-hmm. saying that that needs to come back. I didn't say fuck a you, stool. N- you didn't say fuck uh, a stool. I said you said it. What? I said silly. No, that's not what you said. What I said. We were talking about, um, what's the name of that comic that sold his act to his brother? I. What Why do fuck? I know what you're talking? Anyways, about? Anyways, he was he used to smash <laughs> watermelons and shit and hit yeah. him. Gallagher, Gallagher. Yes. He was like, I think that shit needs to come back. I know that from Zach. He said that. The other day. <laughs> I know from Jay. But that's well, funny. I know and you know what? Is, I made... agree because at least it's different, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you, what it, different doesn't mean good? It doesn't. You need to learn that. I think he needs to learn that. I don't think Gallagher needs to come back. Y'all different motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good. So. <laughs> <laughs> Also, um, speaking of things that are good, um, guys, the Doped Up Comedy Show, March 5th. Brilliant uh, Sunday, segue. March 5th, is mm. coming, and it's coming quick. Um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Let's how, go. How, wait, 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 how quick? It. How quick would you say it's we coming? Are, we are three weeks away, and we are five tickets away from being sold out. I'm Let's simply go. just better than y'all niggas, and I'm simply just more known Upstairs than you room, and if you didn't sold know, out. If you didn't know, Dylan also now knows how to fucking somebody help me, because I forgot the word. I forgot the, what? I the, don't what? The word? Project? What? S- sounds like. Talk? No, not Are you doing charades right now? Yeah, he's literally yeah, doing charades right now. He goes, Damn. so guys. Yeah. Like you came you, know when you, get a, you know when you get a puppet? And yeah. A uh, ventriloquist? Yes. You got his hand yeah. up his ass or what? Forget Always. It. Forget yeah. it. Wow, yeah, Kev, yeah. you sucked the energy out the room with that I one, know, bro. I know. Sometimes, listen, you go That's for it. really crazy. You go for it. You, you're here for a few hours. Yeah. And you start to no, talk. No, Kev, Kev. But when you do this on Kev. stage, though, you just keep smiling. It is Kev. so funny. <laughs> you get that. I deserve that one. You deserve that. I deserve that. Every, oh, every time, oh, oh, every time oh, I bomb, I want that. That's one. what I was thinking, right? Okay. Then there doesn't have to be any awkward energy. I can just hit one of those, and you know, that shit flop. No, but you can't be the judge all the time. You should get the sound though. It's gotta be that hard. If you're having sex with your girl, you come too fast, you got to hit that button, bro. <laughs> Accidente, <laughs> <avocado>. <laughs> like, just stand there like, What's the it. abortion clinic's yeah. number? Cinco, cinco, cinco. cinco. <laughs> why is it so many sixes? You know why. That's where those babies go. All right. Um, Natalie DeChico. Dylan Negri. <laughs> <laughs> Etc. <cetera. laughs> and, 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 and others. <laughs> um, we usually do questions on the show, as you know. Yeah. I'm but, familiar. Um, I've seen the show you, before. Oh, re- no. You're a fan? I'm a big fan. Big actually. fan. Yeah, big fan. <laughs> big fun. Big fun. Some um, might say I've someone, seen almost every episode yeah, of the show. Yeah, some might say you might, you've seen 99 episodes. Yeah. No, not. It was like, I think 20 was my first. You can lie to me, and you Those can definitely lie to me, count. but you did watch episodes before... No, it's you? like seeing a, my girlfriend with an ex. I don't need to see what the Ooh, fuck you guys are oh, doing right. before. I, I always got knew here. Natalie was right for the show. Cause <laughs> even from the beginning, she was like, nah, dude, this is my baby. Like, this it is was. the show I it love. Was like... I love how you thought she watched this before she worked on it, though. Like, that's crazy. Yo, oh, shout out Blind yeah. Mike out yeah. here yeah. with the claws in hand. Wait, did you tell Tom they're here? Mm-hmm. Oh, he's just in the other room stewing? Can you send him into the rooms? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Tom's gonna be on our show later. Why am too. I jealous? I love my no, bro. no, he's just. I don't think that's the question. Tom hasn't been on any shows. Fly he's by. just gonna be on our show later, and he's oh, upset he's just, about it. Oh, okay. Fly so. by, he's like upset. to get his shit yeah. off. Bro. He's just, like, just taking my book. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, speaking of blind Mike. Uh, there, Three ta- blind mics. Uh, uh, yes, <laughs> I was talking to a, 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 a comic, a Sienna, last night, and she had a she's in a movie or horror movie, and she has this beautiful friend with her, gorgeous, and she was also in the movie. So we're all chilling, having fun in the corner, being dope, and we're about to leave. And blind and, and seven people just said, "I hate and, you." Um, I hate him so much. Oh, 100%. Keep and, going, keep going. I'm going to keep... Oh, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to be the comments. And then, and, then, and then, bro. And then, bro. <laughs> of course you will be. No, nah, <laughs> nah, the girl... The cute girl goes, people have been coming up to me all night saying, hey, great set. And she's not a comic at all, but she's oh, just a funny. beautiful girl to stand. Dylan must go through that. So... <laughs> Accident? No, I'm not killing it. That was good. That was good. No, so so Blind Mike comes up to her and goes, "Oh, hey, how, uh, <laughs> how you doing?" Yeah. And then she just goes, "Oh, hi." Well, um, I go, "Yeah, it's Blind Mike." She goes, "Did you like my set tonight?" No, she didn't. And then she, he goes, that "Yeah, actually, funny. yours is like my favorite one of that the night." Girl's funny. And he goes, "She goes, yeah. What joke was your favorite?" She, she goes, should be a comic. And, you know, and then and then Blind Mike goes. Like the ones towards like the end, like I thought that was really good. You were like, I, you really impressed me with how you went up. Yo. And then, dude, we walk away and we're laughing. I go, you just made fun of a blind kid. She goes, no, he's not actually a blind. I go, no, his name is Blind, blind Mike. Mike. She goes, no, but he's not. I'm like, 
and probably less than nine. He just made he, fun no, of no, him. No, no, he deserved it. No, no, 100%. No, he she was like, people she was, don't know that he deserves it. She was it. like, yeah, but yeah. how come Blind Mike was trying to see my pussy, though? <laughs> <laughs> you buzz, bro. Blind buzz. Yeah. He just felt the energy yeah. out there, you know? <laughs> Yo, DC, you deserve it. He was just, I try, I try, I try. I, try. <laughs> I will say, Ooh, he she smelled be. good. She smelled like she looked good. <laughs> he, uh, he works off smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, works off smell and feels. Good enough for me. This thing is crazy, bro. Good enough. For me, mm. sorry. Here, let me. You gotta do it the Ray Charles mm. way. He used to hold their wrist and touch their arm to see how fat it was. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I love that scene be, in the movie. That's yeah. so funny. That's Wait, just, really? Yeah, that's what he would allegedly, like touch like that. Yeah, allegedly, yeah, yeah, I've heard that yeah. Part. There's a lot of allegedly going on. I don't think it's on. alleged. How else would he know a woman's Ooh. attractive? He can see a little. Ray Charles. Oh, Ray Charles. Yeah, I thought you meant Blind Mike. I thought you meant Blind Mike. I was like, he's not actually that blind. I don't know. So you know thought Blind Mike was, was, was checking on fat bitches? You thought Blind Mike was, was, he was, he was shooting them all? Yeah. Listen, Body listen, Max I wouldn't be surprised. I'm like, I'm like, Blind Mike, you do not have the pleasures of mm -hmm. touching fat women's arms and judging. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we got it. it. We know you're mad. I can't wait till Blind Mike is super rich and lives in LA in the hills or something. Yo, dude, he's gonna be a tyrant. Yeah, he he's reminds a me of, menace. Yeah, he reminds me of like a um Andy, Andy Milanakis kind of character. Oh, he kind of kind of yeah. a little bit, right? Like he's reluctantly super cool. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't want to. I, wanna, I don't want to talk about Blind Mike he, no more. But <laughs> <laughs> I agree. No, no. So okay, so the show is usually about questions, as you know, yeah. Natalie. Mm -hmm. But uh, you're a uh, you're a, um, a a baby, as they say. I am. When it comes to the drug universe, Dylan's calling her a baby. Man. I have at least a couple stories, though. But what? I'll I'll be honest about the ones that I can't answer. No, no, like, of, oh, course, of course, of course, of course. So I'm not. I want to get into the questions, but um, I do want to talk about Skankfest because we talked about it before. But I really want to have this is your own yeah, more yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, a yeah. formal way. Um, first time doing shrooms was where. <sighs> So fun at at Skank Fest second day that, right before uh, by the, way, the, the the jam the perfect day yeah the it was perfect beautiful. day to do it it was amazing um I'm just gonna say what that I'll, was a good day to do shrooms you bailed you I were on shrooms and you bailed yeah you motherfucker oh, nah, I I, I could have had a nice why. fun he shrooms does, no, no. he does that he you does know, that. he probably took too many too fast and that shit weirded him the fuck out around too much energy at the Ke same time Kev will just leave and go do his own thing and he'll yeah. text you later he'll yeah. also do that not tripping. He will do I that not tripping that, on though. anything. Bro. I will say No, because I'm tripping on life. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Life, life a little hard. <laughs> Mushroom Keb is more sober than that, sober Keb. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you'd be wild. But if you're on mushrooms, you'll just be like, I no longer think so I need to be it, friends with you. If you out anywhere and you stand next to Kev for five minutes, Kevin's gonna walk away, bro. <laughs> Can I swear to you, even if you know this nigga, you could be his brother. That nigga's walking away, bro. No, yeah. no, no, no. I, wait, wait, wait. wait. Can I do up. my favorite? Can I do my favorite? What? If a conversation is just dying down and you can tell there's not, like the rhythm's dying. Oh, Kev, okay. Kev, can I do Kev? Oh, so just like, right, go ahead. Right, ready, 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 ready? All right, Kev, conversation's dying down, yeah. kind of like this. You know, yeah, yeah, down. Not, yeah. And Kev will just go, all right, uh, all right. I'll see y'all later. And then just, that's it. And God, even I wish worse, that were me. He, he, he would sit there and just go. God, I wish that were me. I wish I had <laughs> he's, he's like, somebody gonna break the awkwardness, but it ain't gonna be me, bro. I'm gonna I like, I, like it. It. You yeah. I hate it. when yeah. you do that, bro. So, Natalie yeah. did her shrooms. I'm, I, I, I've been working on my, my leadership skills. Natalie <laughs> did shrooms at Skankfest for the first time. And uh, one of the things, I think, I don't know if you asked me, but. Maybe. Maybe you did, maybe you did. I don't know if you, oh, you asked me, but I was like, I took it upon myself. I, I wanted to be Natalie's drug stripper. We I talked about ask, it for a while. We did talk about we it. We talked about yeah. it for a long time. Like when you the first time you did shrooms. Yeah, I wanted, I wanted it's to like, hang it's out. like when you're a, it's like when you start to become cool with your siblings. Yeah, right. He's like your yeah. older brother, right? Yeah. Like, he's like, yo, mom. If my little brother right now said Kevin never done shrooms, yeah, I'm gonna be there for him. I'm gonna be excited for him. It was probably like that kind of feeling, right? Bro, can I tell you when I knew? And I want you to tell the story. When I knew I loved Natalie as like a friend was because, bro, I've. I took it shit, bro. I was also high on mushrooms, but there's a, like there's like an army, like a man, something where your brain's just like I'm in protect mode. But I remember you were like, you handled it way better than G Mike did. G, G Mike also did that, but he was stressing me the fuck out. I don't know if I ever told you that. Mm -mm. G, G Mike, Mike did the same thing. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, and then that's why, that's why I stopped us. Everyone, the whole everyone who I told, and I told everyone because everyone around you told the crew, the, the gas yeah. crew, and your friends. Yeah, and uh, G Mike was. Like that, but like neurotic parent mode was like, "Are you okay? Do you need anything?" You do that. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, "Dude, please." Am I supposed yeah. to need something? And he was like, "I mean, it's fine." And I was like, "You're stressing me out, man. Get I, out of here." And, and I would, uh, you can tell me how even I did. Like I would ask. You were I, over text, I, so it helped. Yeah, but it was also we were. Um, 
I call you because you did it without me being there. Yeah. And I and I wanted to be there for the jam. So I was like, you yes. need, like the shrooms, the jam. Yeah. And I just remember being there and be like, you good? Like, you good where you're standing? You're like, I'm fine. I'm yeah. enjoying the music. I hung out with Alex and Alex was super sweet. Exactly. It's so like once you ask once, you got to be like, how's the music? What are you looking at? I remember the puppet guy. The puppet guy was, was so freaking fucking funny. I mean, everyone, but like, there was, oh, a, so funny. there was a dude on stage at the very end of the jam with a puppet that wasn't supposed to be on the stage. And bro, if you were high as balls like we were in the corner, everyone was just like, was like who is that? Dude, it was the creepiest thing in the world. He had a screen on his backpack that was Team America World Police. We talked about him before, I believe. With yeah. Vomiting puppets. And I was like, why dude, is when you're on there? mushrooms, you know when you lock onto something on mushrooms? Out, dude. When I knew me and Natalie were what? just locked on the same thing because we were trying to like enjoy the l- last song. Yeah. And we just keep turning to each other like, who the is that guy? guy? Yeah. Did I, I ever tell you? That shit, bro. I would so, not So, G Mike's stressing you out. Tell yeah. us about your mushroom trip beginning to end. Oh, it was so fun. I um, hung out with Alex. I planted myself in the like VIP section of the jam. And Alex but was as like, you should, queen. and Alex was like, I'm so glad that you're part of this team now. You're really what we needed. And I just like almost started crying. So <laughs> and I was that, like, thank yeah. you so much. It hadn't even hit me Wait, yet. Natalie, were you? <laughs> and that's my time here. <laughs> um, Looking at Alex like, mm. I um belly. I um no. <laughs> speak for yourself, fam. <laughs> that's not at all what that's I was so thinking. Weird. That is bizarre, bro. No, I was just like, wow, you're so sweet. I'm so glad that I'm here. And like, I remember while the jam was happening, I like kind of felt a little not nauseous, but like I could feel my skin pulsing and like that kind of thing. Yeah. Vibrations. And, yeah, it almost felt like I was uh, like right before you have a fever, but also not in a bad way. Like it was just sort of like I could feel my skin extra. And I remember seeing Josh Adam Myers jumping around in his fucking jumpsuit. Did I tell this story when I told it? No, I, I saw, saw that jump- yesterday. By the way, it doesn't uh, yes, matter. I jumped around. He was jumping around in his fucking uh, gas. His, sweating attendant. his life out. His whole. I noticed it kicked in. And I noticed that his whole back was a different color than the rest of him. So, <laughs> you had so, a bad tan. You weren't so, tripping. No, no, no. It was the je- it was the jumpsuit. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. soaked in yeah, sweat. Yeah. He's in like a yellow jumpsuit. Okay. So, but he's, blue. He's, but yeah. Oh, blue. Sorry. But he's just joshing around, fucking yeah. dancing, really singing, joshing, joshing around. around. Yeah. That's so funny. I saw Josh yesterday. <laughs> I called him Ian Fidus. By all, that's so funny. All the yeah. sweat on his back. Yeah. And <laughs> I noticed it. <laughs> so, so, I said, I saw Josh at a bias yesterday. He walked, pa- he walked past the building, uh, and I called him Ian Fidus. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> and Josh was probably like, <laughs> good, good for you. I don't think he yeah, realized like it or heard me. I like that. And he took his headphones out. He's like, yo, what's <laughs> up? That's awesome. I was like, yo, it's DC for Dope He's like, oh shit, you're doing the show Sunday. Right? Yeah, yeah, I'll see you, man. I'll see you. Super nice dude. Always nice to me for yeah, no yeah. reason. I feel I like if he it. heard you <laughs> say that, he would have been like, yeah. Like he would have been so and by offended. The way, if it was Ian the other way, I think Ian would have been upset. Yeah. Yeah, I bet they bo- I think they both would have been upset. Yeah, okay. um, but I saw his back and I was Josh. like, oh, what? The- oh, that's it. He sweat through it. And at the same time, I might be wrong, but I feel like it was Ryan Long and Shane Gillis next to me over here. And Ryan Long goes, oh, look how wet he is. <laughs> and, then, and then Shane goes, ew. And I just thought that was the funniest shit in the world. So shrooms makes um, me laugh so much. It was so funny. And I laughed week. and I was like crying th- from laughter. I watched, I watched, I mean, not your first, I just one of your giggle fits when we were all sitting outside in the circle and we just got caught in something and you got caught in a giggle fit. Yeah. And dude, I felt like a proud older brother. Yeah. And I was just like, Aww. You know, the first Google, Watch your little first Google fit. Yeah, is... I came up. I I was gathering my shit upstairs, and you guys were doing coke. And I was like, I've never seen Natalie. coke. Damn. Before. <laughs> Damn. Yo. Bro, how are you gonna do coke in front of your sister, I dog? Added Damn, I added this. I got to coke. Natalie. Natalie. I added this. I what the fuck? fuck? You guys. What the fuck? fuck? And then she doesn't. Nobody knows you guys. Who you guys are? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just you, and then everybody else who's you guys. No, well, not me. Perico. Yeah, he would never. Yeah, that's true. That's you, bro. All right, I'm going to go back. <laughs> he looks like a line of coke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm built like coke. Yeah. I'm built like lines of coke. You are, bro. You built like a long that's ass a line of coke. That's a good title for the episode. Built like a line of coke. Yeah. Hold on. Let me write that down. And, um, Natalie, what the fuck? So man? it's relevant. <laughs> yeah. It's relevant she to was, my experience. The story. Yeah. It's relevant to my yes. experience because I went. 
I've never seen Coke in real life. <laughs> and then wait, wait, I wait, went, tell them what you said after. I went, man, I feel like such a square. I'm not going to do Coke. I don't feel comfortable with that. And then I went, I'm on drugs right now. <laughs> That's your internal voice, too. I'm yeah, hearing it just by you yeah. telling me. You know, Nat, the first time I saw Coke, I was going to a hotel. I've never seen anyone do Coke in front of me. Yeah. And it was like not what? that long ago. I was like 28, 29, maybe. What? 28? Later than me, 29. I was 25. Yeah. I avoided it for a long time. You went to the All right, Natalie. Like, you know, co- oh, Nobody yeah, does coke in the military. Okay. Yo, and there was a black dude who was doing it. Yeah, and yeah. it tripped me yeah. out that it's a like black guy is known as a lie. It's a lie. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know black, black guys get coke. coke bro. By the way, uh, one of the things you said, you're like sitting in the corner, you're like giggling or whatever, yeah. and we're like, we're on the table um, having drinks, yeah. um, having lines of drinks. And, do, you, um, uh, do you remember when... when Tom got mad at Blind Mike and he threw a white claw. Oh, threw, oh no, no, no. Shit. Threw a white claw? Yeah, you were onto there. Onto electrical well, onto equipment. Onto equipment. Onto walkie-talkies. Equi- a table of walkie-talkies. walkie-talkies. And I had to sit there cleaning it up. And by the way, still did coke off that table. That's so funny. <laughs> and I, the rest of the experience was like really good in ways that if I try to describe them, it will not convey it how nice yeah. it was. But it was me talking to you and Tom and Jorge. Yeah. And just dishing. Yeah, that was, was great. Yeah, after that fact. Like, yeah, we were, we're downstairs. downstairs. We're talking about bullshit. Yeah, the yeah. The weekend, the day of Skank Fest. Yeah, Skank yeah. Skank Fest life. Come to Skank Fest. Yeah, yeah. September. I'm not going to harp on it anymore, yeah. but it was little moments like that where Matt, I, like, I was God. talking to Blind Mike over here and I was talking to Jorge over here and like, this is a lesson. it was really nice. This is a dope dub lesson. Wait. <laughs> Yo, if you're going <laughs> like to do, sh- if, you're gonna do a, if you're going to do a hallucinogen, Right, doing yeah. with Dylan, doing with friends. Oh. Yeah, because if not, uh-huh. you will call somebody you shouldn't be calling. Mm-hmm. You will, and yeah. they'll be in a weird spot where they're like your best friend, but they'll be like, yeah. "Yo, bro, I'm with my girl at dinner right now, and you're yeah. high on mushrooms, freaking out." Like, did I ever tell? Um, have I said in words that I went up to Jorge and I was like, "I'm glad we're friends," and he went, "I don't know about that." <laughs> Damn, that and would I hurt. went on shrooms. That would hurt. Uh, no, no, on shrooms. <laughs> nah, on shrrooms. That Jorge. Would hurt. Jorge. 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 On shrooms. Did you know she was on shrooms, Jorge? You... Did you know? Yeah. Oh, but yeah, wait, 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 wait. By the way, I finally found. We're changing this Kevin's drop. This is Jorge's drop. Jorge, thank you for producing the episode so Natalie could be thank on here. Thank you, Jorge. So, Jorge, here's we your drop. We are friends, whether you admit it or not. Bro, on shrooms, I'm, cinco, deep, cinco, I'm cinco, deeply, cinco, like, self-conscious. Cinco, cinco. All right. Yeah, weirded out. Jorge, did you know Natalie DiCicco yeah, yeah. was on shrooms? Yeah, I talked about it. Yeah. I'll give you an answer for him. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, you, know, you can answer. You, did you know, like, have you done shrooms before, Jorge? Nah. He's straight edge. I'm going to fucking shove him down your throat, you piece of shit. perfect person to work at. You need one straight edge person It became like... You do. Yeah, yeah, we we had him. We had him. Yo, we had him. What happened? We started doing drugs. (laughs) (laughs) Was that him and Dylan or what? No, you're right. He's an idiot. (laughs) No, yeah. We were all... Not we all. It starts off like that. Yeah. Yeah. And Gas turned this nigga into a monster, bro. Yeah, honestly, yo, <laughs> yeah. you're not wrong. Bro. What, bro? Yeah. What I've been doing, really he did a moderate amount of drugs, bro. Mo- I'm talking about. Did he just do weed, the MJ mostly MGK Devil song? Yeah, bro. Wait, I was no, just like, no, no, motherfuckers no, no. out here fully like, I'm out here, bro. That demon drugs. was always inside of me. I, yeah. It was. It was waiting to come out. It was like Dylan needs the right time. Like, Wait, like it wasn't a good I, time for him to do please. drugs. Um, can you read the podcast, please? Recently, two people. Comedians who are adjacent to gas were doing coke in that room over there. I'm not going to name them, but that is out here telling. I'm not, I'm not saying names. And, <laughs> wait, and all right, young thug. Yo, we need. I mean, not I mean, gun. I'm sorry. We yo, need, that's we need it. That's Nat- all I'm going to go into. No, but my yeah. Natalie's like, yo, the people over there are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then and then all of a sudden, fucking. <laughs> bu- 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 you should do prop cop. <laughs> no, don't say that. Yo, this yeah, guy's no. the next guy. Like, no, 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 no. I'm telling you, dog. I've been saying it. It's coming out. It was pretty good. It improvis- improvisationally, that was funny. Wait, that was DC, funny. But, yeah. is this a pen or is it an airport? I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> but I, I told my friend that recently, and she was like, "Man, you just saw them do coke." I feel like if I was there, I would be peer pressured into doing something. You told me this, and I said, "You're she lying." Told herself that. Yeah. You're lying she to wants me. To do and coke. I, she goes, "No, I see. It. Like I would," and I said, "I, w- I wouldn't, because I have no desire to do coke. No, like, but that's not pe- one that interests yeah, me." Yeah, but everyone's a different. She's flower, very susceptible snowflake. to peer pressure. I had a friend. Um, I had a friend. Um, uh, Hayden in high school. I remember one time. Wow, I was like, now you're telling names. Oh well, Hayden's good. He's a drug addict now. But <laughs> oh uh, my God, dude, he's what? committed, is what he is. Oh yeah, but no, he's, he's committed to I the bit. I was like, "Do you smoke weed?" Because I started smoking weed. I was yeah, like, oh, bro, let's hang out this weekend. Let's play video games. Do you smoke weed? And yeah. He goes, 
my parents have like addictive personalities and I have an addictive personality whether it's video games f- he's he's playing Clash of Clans uh-huh he's all ev- bro addictive like yeah so he's like I have an addictive personality and I remember like messaging him like four years later I'm like hey bro he's still straight edge he's like nah I have a yeah. friend that was like that that's still straight edge he doesn't dr- he's never drank he's like my dad is a recovered alcoholic I'm, so I'm people just, just never know. gonna they touch you I understand yeah. the drinking but no like drugs like I'm not saying do it all the time but I think every human being on earth needs to do trip on shrooms once Shrooms, I, I do believe that. DC promoting drugs. I already no, can't. no, sure, because I really feel because you, bro. Most people have never seen the molecules in a table move back and forth. That's I true. swear there to God, to there is, there is, yeah, it's but DC, different. But DC, you ready for this? I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring something up to you. How many people on Earth do we need to see that? Because if everyone, everyone could see the molecules in the table. We'd but, all just be people seeing molecules no, and tables. No, no, no. But people need to get outside I themselves. I think the world would be a better place. People, oh, yeah. No, people yeah. are too inside themselves. Everything makes them fearful. It's like if you did shrooms, your perspective on life would change. Your ego, you ever experienced ego death, bro, on acid oh. or shrooms? You know, I, told, I, I, to, I do, I do I shrooms every Sunday to cry. Actually, it, bro, I'm telling you, I've never. Dude, I'm like, this is what it's you, like kid. to not have an ego, ha- be self conscious, like no. to really feel things, think about people, and feel like you should call them and tell them. It's just like, it's crazy, bro. I've never felt anything. I called Dylan once. It was like, yo, bro, I really appreciate you, bro. Like, the first time I really tripped on, she was like four years ago, 2018 or something like that. I was called mad people. Bro. I had to call my ex-girlfriend. She did not answer. I, I, I had no idea. She was right. By the way, yeah, yeah, I remember that phone call. He called me. He was like, yo, Dylan, I really appreciate you, bro. I really I was appreciate you. Bribe. And I was like, yo, bro, that's great. Uh, did you set up all the seats for Dope Dub, though? <laughs> no, this, was, this, this wasn't Dope Dub. This is what Yo, you are so good this at This four years ago. This <laughs> was vlog shit. days, you bro. You are king of a no I was like, bro, no I know. End. I show up, and you know I'd be stressing you out because you want to film shit. And sometimes I'm like, this shit is stupid. You know what I mean, like, bro. It was like I was like I never felt like I that get before. that like like that when I drink, where I'm like I I want to tell my friends that That's I love the them. Drunk. Yeah, d- and it's yeah. a good feeling. I don't like. I've never been drunk enough to tell my friends. My favorite is when Natalie's just drunk, and I can see her just do like a little. She's like, dude, I fucking love you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Who do you? uh at least a drinker. Though. Sorry, go ahead. Who I am. You? That's my one drug. DC, we're gonna mute your mic in a minute. I had the, the opposite hold, of don't a. Don't forget it. But she, you, remember you that cut time? off so many people. You that time she poured a drink oh. out, and she, you thought she was pouring drinks for like I think either me and you or me. Yeah, she goes, and she drank it. And she, not... Yeah. Oh, oh, that fish could drink. Like, chuck yeah. it. And then, oh, Natalie drank. She said, "My bad." Pours another one and starts drinking it again. Didn't pour. I did twice. I literally did twice. Forgot about that. Let her respond, people. I um, I was here and I forgot oh you guys were gonna do a shot and yeah. so we poured it for everybody and then i didn't wait for you and i went oh sorry i'll wait for you poured, poured it drank one. it again because <laughs> <laughs> i need to drink bro the day's over i, I worked like, at a, yeah, my mom's idea. worked my family works in alcohol both my parents really what my do do? my dad owns bars my mom your dad just owns a bar finished. let's talk after this yeah <laughs> they're gay bars you know you wouldn't want to hang out there no no no, no, no. i gotta hang out it's one of, we'll talk we'll talk i'll let you know i'll let you know i'll let you know they're gay DC, you're the biggest yeah one of them is the biggest gay bar in the country you're the biggest climber right now. No, 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 no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to make commission. <laughs> oh, you want to work at a bar? <laughs> no, no, no. Kev knows what I'm talking about. Kev knows what I'm talking about. Oh, oh. Your dad has TVs at the at his bar. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> you, you, I don't qualified <laughs> the client. They're Thanks already, they're already. One of them are already customers. But go ahead. Oh, you fucking All slide right. dog. You guys, what are you guys? Do? <laughs> Dylan. Natalie, hey, Dylan, just give me a minute. Dylan, give me a minute. Dylan. Give me a minute. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You understand there's comments that call you gay. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. And I mean, buddy, you know better. Mm-hmm. What are you talking about? Yeah, what the fuck that. are we talking about right now? <laughs> no, 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 I know you Big know Kimber better. We're talking about work. Bro. Why? I, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Because my uh, ears. I had yeah, to relax, well, we weren't, and then you kept wanting to talk about it. This thing, uh, I said we'll talk after, and you said, but what, but but but. <laughs> Thanks for ruining the the podcast, Dylan. I, <laughs> anyway, stop cutting people off, please. Bro, no one was cut off. You cut her off to do that. Fam. What are you yeah. talking about? Yeah. Anyways, that. What were you saying? I don't remember. <laughs> Kev, what were you saying? <laughs> um, damn, I don't remember. Dog. You guys are great. Ask um, me something else. I thank you. Oh wait, no, I was gonna ask. No, I was cut off. Yeah. So I, oh, who cut you off? Stop! No, 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 so, no, 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 no! I want to fucking hear it. Who's cutting who cut you off? off right now? No, I'm doing it now. <laughs> who cut you off? Who's cutting everyone? Who cut you off? Hey, Guys, I quit. This is my last episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quitting. Yo, um, it needs you. to be addressed. It's the 100th episode. <laughs> Spectacular. Who would you rather be drinking in front of? Uh-huh. Your mom or your pops? I have, let's see. I would be fine with either. My mom and I were drinking on Thanksgiving together. Is that the first time you drink with your mom? 
Um, no, she has a family of drinkers. I no, no, no. But I, we do. But I've never seen either of my parents very drunk more than maybe twice each. Was that how was that? Was Fun. That it, with my dad, it was at like a fucking gay bar event. Like it was a drag queen fucking ball or gay? something. No. Oh, okay. No, no, no. He's just a business guy. He knows where the money's at. He knows yeah. where the money's at. <laughs> and the gays tip. But up. like both no, my he's parents, just dressed, he's just dressed as well. Both my parents were theater people, so they've always oh, been kind of okay. in it, you know. And oh yeah, your uh, your parents were Ninja uh, Turtles. The Ninja Turtles. Yeah, they were. They were like. T- that's a different. How that was so. Weird. Your parents were Ninja Turtles. What? <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that. Wait, wait. That was your so- parents <laughs> are Ninja Turtles. <laughs> My parents so were Ninja Turtles. They retired from Ninja Turtling. <laughs> <laughs> They, so so they left the fucking sewer and they moved to an yeah, apartment. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 Explain exactly. what your parents did. So before, my parents how they met. toured as um, you know how they'll have like a live event with like big caricature costumes yes. at like Great Adventure and yeah. shit like that. They were in um the the Ninja Turtles when they were big in like the nineties. Mm-hmm. That's how they oh, met though, right? Yeah, my dad was what's the blue one called? Uh, Donatello. Yeah, and my mom was a, uh, April. Yo, so what, your parents are Scottish, right? No, Italian. Italian. DC, you're thinking oh, the wrong question. Interesting. Okay. Do you think you were made while they were wearing the suits? <laughs> wow, what a good question. Call your mom and dad right now. <laughs> I'm not. They're not going to answer that. Um, the timeline, oh, just quite doesn't match up. Okay. Yeah. Like they were. It was. Yeah, but you maybe still, two years. They still have the suits at that time. Oh, good question. If those suits are retired, my mom was hot, man. She was the April. Right. April's I, the I, hot one. By the way, I don't, de- I don't deny. No, it. No, no, no. But like, for yeah, her to would... wear it is way easier than for my dad to wear the big fucking puffy thing. He mm. always talks about how there was once that he was at like a Sea World or something where the stage was surrounded by water, like they were in it, and he was like, "I'm gonna die. Like if I Kill fall you. in the water, I'm it's never over. getting have out." Have you of it. ever? Have you ever seen this suit in person? Not in person, no. That's they weird. were. I'm sure that I'm sure the company owned it. I'm sure your 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 dad brought it home, cut a hole <laughs> in the turtle pants. Like, we can't show how she was. And then and, and, and then after she was like, he's like, oh April, you're sorry, mom, yeah, you're pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> Did they meet at one of these events? He was like, damn, look at the tail on that turtle or something. Like, what, like, what you... God, I hope not. No, they met before that. They met when they were like early, like before they toured. Before okay, turtle, before, yeah, yeah. before before turtle, before pre turtling touring, B-T. Um, t- t- before tur- turtling turtling. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I would be fine drinking with either of them to answer your question. But like when I was, oh, uh, my 21st birthday, me and my cousin are two days apart. So for both of our 21st birthdays, my dad and like a couple relatives took us to New Orleans. And I was definitely <laughs> real drunk in front of my dad. <laughs> but I also like don't like I've to. I've never seen my dad drunk no. once. I don't like to overdo you, it You, you saw Show Me too drunk, much. drunk once? I've only ever. How would you say his name? Show Me. Show, show, slow me, okay. slow me. Um, I my, my, my dad's somewhere. a straight edge, always was, always has. Uh, my mom was like, I think the wild one, the fun one. And can um, I ask where in New Jersey your mom's from? Homedale. I don't even know um, where that is. Deep. That sounds deep. deep. That sound <laughs> I'm not deep that familiar Jersey. with South deep. Jersey, so if it's South Jersey, I, I that wouldn't sounds, know. It sounds like you headed towards Connecticut. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> a little bit. So my, uh, my, I don't know if I ever said this to you guys. My mom was married to her high school sweetheart for I think her you entire have life. Uh, went to South Florida, went to Aventura Mall, saw saw an Israeli Dylan mm-hmm. fucking selling belts on a kiosk <laughs> and broke up with the dude that like moved their life oh, bro f- since like high yeah. school. She was like, This this guy Shlomi's gonna be somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then it didn't work out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it worked out for a while. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Wait, 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 ask me who it worked out for. Who did it work out for? Not my mom. <laughs> yeah, literally. That's what I'm I mean. Dead, <laughs> nah, she's great. I take care of her. Um, but <laughs> I want. So, have you done shrooms since uh, Skank? No, I've been thinking about it ever since. Ooh. I would love to do it again, but I know I'm gonna probably do it in Jamaica, and then like I don't know who when else I would fucking again? do shrooms with. Like, Subscribe to the ten dollar Patreon. Mm-hmm. I would and- do it for content. I just don't <laughs> know. Like, I want this. I want the situation to be right. Did I tell you I bought? Uh, Edibles from Shannon, and I've been doing yes. them by myself. So I remember you saying this to me. Nice. I'm happy we talking about this. Are you more of like a? I don't say regular smoker, but are you a, re- a regular, regular edible eater now? Not yet, but I could be. What's your? How, what's your? How often? You don't need it to was, be, by the you way. But yes, yes. Thank you. I'm not encouraging. Yeah. Edibles no, no, no. suck. I I approach. I think I'm approaching it the same way I approached alcohol when I because tr- I didn't really drink before I was 21 either yeah oh really yeah I was just gonna ask you if you drink uh, 20-ish yeah like yeah, as I soon as my 20-ish was me too. I'm not someone who like desires it so much that I would 
you know, go through a lot of trouble to mm. get any substance. Has, so oh. as soon as my friends started turning 21 and being able to buy me shit, I was like, oh, I, like I, I never would have fucked with a fake ID or any of that shit. Well, I didn't have a fake ID just because, but like, I also, I don't know if anyone else experiences. I, I've, oh, and still to this day, waiting for the day that I like the taste of alcohol. Yeah, you weren't yeah. drinking that. You a little bit. When when I started working at Arlo and the Casamigos, like I put on the Casamigos and I'll shit. I'll never forget when I was working at a, a rooftop bar under 20. Espelon. And uh, my my manager cheers for my birthday. He goes, how old you turn? I go, 21. He goes, what? <laughs> I remember funny. when, I, when I started drinking a little bit more consistently, and it was in my teens. And I thought it was disgusting, just like you. Hey, I still don't right? like that. So I'm, I'm like, this is That's this. why I didn't drink before that also. But I was drinking. I was like, it also makes sense. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, I feel like the man right now. Oh, yeah. The third time I was homeless, I was like, fuck it, the bro. The third I'm, time I'm, I was <laughs> homeless. Yeah. Bro, I was like, yo, fuck it. Like, Give me a what? bottle, nigga. Yo. By the way, by the way. <laughs> I by the way, that <laughs> By the way, that is man. some. <laughs> by the way, you were homeless, DC? I've I've been I've been on that yeah for co- a couple couple times couple wait, wait, times wait, wait, college wait. and then like a little bit after college what's yeah. your like 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 definition like like, ca- like couch surfing worst? like couch like, surfing like the worst is probably post pandemic like you're like I don't know what address to write down to have people yeah mail shit. crashing at my homie's crib crashing at Shannon's crib like that was probably post pandemic was probably the worst uh, uh, losing my apartment that Can I lived I tell in by you myself something? yeah and I, I, I there's I hope you know I don't get this a lot on this podcast there was a swell at the bottom of my heart saying this. I didn't know that. And this motherfucker called me one day. He was like, yo, bro, could I like sleep on your couch for like a week or two? I go, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't know wow. that. That's what he said. That's what he said. <laughs> I, yeah, wow. Bro. He was like, what? No, bro. And now, like, you know no, what's crazy about that? He's like, you can't quit the pod. You can't stay here. Just come to gas all the time, bro. There's food. No, what but, are you talking about? <laughs> but, <laughs> he's kind of right. No. But, <laughs> he's kind of right. right, bro. I am right. I am right. Uh, I, I mean, Harrison did it. I'm sorry. The kid knows something. The kid knows something. Also, but I will say this. Can you? He tells me. Like oh, y'all talk at work and like yeah. this is my home boot, so my home. This boy. is before I was even working with him this though. This is when I was gonna quit the pod, bro. Oh, but he, I was like, Kev, you gotta give me a job, bro. One, one day, that, since one day, I've worked, one day I since called, I've known you. Yeah. One day I called yeah. Dylan. I called Dylan. And he had to tell like, me, yo, you know how hard DC was living bro. during the pandemic. This is by the way, after nobody the job. knew. Sanely. That's how I, I love a dude like that. I, yeah, I respect that. That's mad stoic and shit. I respect it, right? But it's so dumb. Ride, by the yeah. way, yeah, I would be making that everybody's business. I'm saying, yeah, I'm saying, to. I'm. Oh, by the way, there's a dude who does. Um, <laughs> um, I thought you were gonna say Roey. Oh, I mean. <laughs> Hey podcast. man, I love Roy, really and I edit this podcast all the time. Hey man, no, no, if, no, if, if, if the sh- if the shoes with holes in it fits, <laughs> that was a good one liner. Yeah, that was a good one. Ready? If the shoes with holes in it fit, I, I, I am the YouTube <laughs> comment. Rory, no one can hear you like that. Stop You're, doing yeah, that. Yeah, don't do I'm that. The YouTube comment. There, there you go. This? No, why not? It gets too bassy, and no one can hear it. Uh, I didn't know that. Right I was gonna tell you after the pod, but <laughs> <figured it out. laughs> I'm glad you said it right now. I am, I am, it was bad for you. Don't do it like that. If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it like that. Okay, okay. Well, she did the same. <laughs> Natalie did it first. All right. Retention. I want to. I want to say this one. I want to move on. But is um, you being homeless uh-huh. was he had to fucking tell me, and I, I you were so stoic about it, and I, bro, so I'm the most to cry, son. <laughs> no, no, no. You I'm thinking him? about it. I am the most infuriating person sometimes. Because you're letting Roey sleep on your couch. No, 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 no. Bro, I am the most... In- right. bro, I'm this energy right. all the time okay. to my friends. Like, not an hour, to my friends all day. So, a man, DC Williams, how many years older than me? Uh, like four. Five. F- four, or four, five? Or five, yeah. four. Four or five? Four or five years older than me. You're 25, right? This, you're 25. not 30, yeah. are you? No, I'm 29. I'll be 30 in September. Yeah. This <laughs> dumb, arrogant face at this studio... Well, this man's not telling anyone he's struggling with not hard. trying to be hard, struggling hard. negative, de- fucking Ooh. homeless. Not and, just negative. By the way, but, and, then, negative, and then bro. gets here and goes, yeah, bro, I mean, I, I look at him and go, DC, if you don't do the pod, bro, you ain't got nothing. I mean, sleep on whatever couch you need. And I'm just, bro, I had no, I'm yelling at him like, yo, if you quit the pod, like, what do you, and he just, bro, how did you not punch funny. me? Not uh, telling you he's five figures in debt, and we're not talking about in the lows. <laughs> yeah, that was bad, bro. That was yeah. a bad time. Hey, tell me, was I motivating, annoying? Honestly, or all of the above? Honestly, all of the above. well, no, no. What was funny? You were like, 
bro, okay, well, you're not going to crash at my house and quit the pod. <laughs> and I was like, Mate, that's the, the point way, about comedy. Way, I was sitting there. I was just like, I hung up. Fine. I was like, I was like, he he, he made right. a few points. I it didn't want to I didn't want to say that. It makes more sense to me to be like, you can stay on my couch, but you have to stick to the shit that we're Of course. Doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you didn't say why. Yes. Um, I think if you would have told Dylan, was, yo, bro, I'm like, on, like uh, buddy, this is the time. You just assumed that he like. He was fucking just. his Fucking around. By the way. No, no. You guys also, I just realized what I assumed. You guys don't understand who dc williams is i went over his house Please one time explain. and i go bro let's go in your room and what like chill out he goes uh, i'm airbnb in my room so i'm sleeping outside on the couch in the oh, living room. so he'll airbnb his room sleep on the fucking couch in the living room so he can fucking double dip so right, i go i go sense. i go dc you little piece of shit you're not sleeping on my couch <laughs> oh, so he, you can, can make money, money. I'm a Jew. All right, You're cutting enough. me in. All right, fair enough. So I said, no, you idiot. I would have cut you in if that was the case. <laughs> I would have cut you in. Like, hey, you got to let a Jew. I'll give you $200, You got to let a Jew know. Yeah. Let a Jew but know. But no, my landlord at the time told me I couldn't do it anymore. I remember this. Bitch ass. Even though he told me I couldn't when we when I started, when I moved in there. But anyway. Yeah. His cut. You living but, at a different place now? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm living. Nice. I'm, about to, I'm about to get a place with Kev probably like a month <gasps> or so. so. Yeah. Party. Yeah, yeah. Party house. All right, guys, we're at the 40 minute mark. Before this has been that. Fuck, are we? <laughs> it's a fun episode. Oh, yeah. It's a fun, packed episode. It's fam episodes, man. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Now that we have Jorge, and um, <laughs> already, already important. Jorge's Jorge. like, ah. He goes, oh, <laughs> by the I way, the quickness of him looking Jorge's at me. Really goes, Jorge, by the way, Natalie's doing the pod. We don't pay our guests, we pay our producer. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't look that impressed. Uh, <laughs> he's like, all right, bro, what's God, the mouth? He's How like, so am I getting paid for this episode? <laughs> I think when asking. we do a fan episode, whether it's once a month, once every every so often, I'll pay I feel like we should do guests once I'll a pay month. Jorge or fucking Blind Mike or someone to come in. We bring Natalie on the pod. I think, we should be, I think that should be more often. I, I think that. so, too. Because I think she needs to yell at us about the last month. I think I we should do a fire guest once a month. Yeah. A fire, like a we'll fire guest. You book it in. Decide. That way we oh, could we could schedule. We could find because busy because the fire people are busy and they got schedules and shit. We could book yeah. a fire guest once a month, bro. That I feel like that would be up. so because shit's flowing right now. We're gonna we're gonna mm. clickbait right clickbait right now. I just oh, realized shit. something. Uh -oh. Who are you calling? Who are you calling? You might have this. Why? Okay. You might have <laughs> this. You gotta tell me there on the pod, by the way, uh, buddy. I know. Oh, please fucking answer. Please fucking answer. Don't please fucking answer. Don't make me look bad. Don't make me look bad. Please fucking answer. It's not the comments that comment, bro. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching Dope Dub Podcast. If you wanted to go support Dope Dub Podcast, go support our sponsor, Zia Farms. Zia Farms does everything for us around here, sponsors everything that we do. So, guys, go support them. That's zef-hemp.com. Go to zef-hemp.com and go support Zia Farms and use the code doped hyphen up that's d-o-p-e-d -E hyphen u-p and you'll get like i think it's like 50 or 80 percent off it's a ridiculous fucking discount so guys go support see your farms and doped up and get high with all of us it's been thank you the show i hate calls on podcasts it's yeah. one of yeah. my biggest anxieties yeah peeves. oh okay and no. pet peeves, yeah. who was it no I knew it. I knew uh, it. <laughs> I knew it, bro. He'll be on. Or maybe he won't. I don't know what his reason was. He's like, oh, Dylan's trying to get me those pot again. Fuck. Oh, shit. Um, I just tried calling my friend Charlie, who's wide on Ozarks. Uh, he was supposed, supposed to be on the 100th show today. episode, but he's a very busy man. He is now filming his um first directed, self produced movie with a lot of cool people cool in it. Cool as fuck. And, um, oh, oh, people from, in it from like Always Sunny. Like, you'll, you'll watch the movie. I promise you. You'll, he already sent me like clips. It looks so good. Yeah. And, bro, you'll see people in the movie and you'll go, I know that face. I know that face. And is it know, comedy? Or is it um, dramatic. Ooh. It's a little mix. It's a, it's, it's a good story. It's a okay. little mix. He's a weird kid. He he was supposed to be, uh, I don't know if I can say this, but uh, he was supposed to be young Joker and Joker 2. I can see that. And Damn. he was literally, they were just him and another kid and the director just had to pick one or the other and pick the other dude. And um, he's, I'm this, taking a time he's also, uh, uh, he's also uh, the kid in I Am Legend. That's my boy. Um, oh, oh my God! Yeah, that's so funny. That's uh, that's Charlie. Is he done um, filming it already? Or what? No, no. So he's still in the middle of filming oh, it. Okay. What I'm announcing is, <laughs> doped up comedy is in the movie. Oh no, shit! What? Uh, yeah, bro, you don't read your group chat. <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me this. You yeah, tell me bro. this. Yeah, you told me this. Yeah. So Charlie, yeah. They're, they're, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna uh, tell anything about the movie. Yeah, of not obviously business. not. You know, I know you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying anything. Yeah. But there's a part of the movie where they need to hear the radio, and the, the, the people are in the car 
needing to hear yeah. the radio. That's and cool. um, it's a very specific thing they need, so it has to be ADR. They have to have specific audio. Just like Josh Adam Myers on F is for Family, where he does yeah. his radio. Oh, up. I forgot about Scooby that. Scooby Dooby Doo! I completely forgot about that. That was a good Josh. Um, <laughs> So, That's so funny. I loved that show before I met love him. Love that show, bro. And, and dude, when season five came out and it was ending, I literally yeah. was like, Josh, I had no idea it was you. I love you so I much had more no now. Idea. It's him. Uh, but Charlie called me and goes, um, would you guys be down to do the radio people? And you said, no. And I was like, <laughs> no. But no, I literally was like, obviously, dude. I was like, I would love to. I've honestly been waiting for you to like, yeah. ask me to be part of the movie. He was like, bro, I was scared to ask you. I was like, that's Retar- like it's yeah, how that's people- a what? Dude, so how people in the industry work is so retarded. And I, uh, so I invited him on the podcast. Like I said, his schedule got too busy, but he's gonna come to this <laughs> studio. Carolyn's gonna come through. We're all gonna sit right here Cute. and we're gonna and watch just do it, a, screen it. And just he's gonna bring what we need. Him and his fucking partners, and we're all gonna sit here. And Fun. If, you, if you're and wondering why Charlie was scared to ask you, it's not because he was like scared to come to you with this. He was like, he's gonna say shit like retarded. <laughs> he can just no, no, cut no. that part out. Probably he probably all... only needs like ten seconds. He's definitely thinking all three of us are yeah, gonna say yeah, something yeah, retarded, yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I uh, we were talking about it, and uh, I, I that, that was funny. I'm not. We were talking about the I, what he wants, and again, I'm not yeah. saying anything. But there was a part he said, and I go, he goes, I need someone for this part. I go, Yeah, we got DC Williams. <laughs> <laughs> and someone describe what? <laughs> well, just literally, just. Wait, wait, see the movie let's all stop talking and wait for him to say the next thing out of his yeah. fucking mouth yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna dye my hair blonde for this role Yo, <laughs> I'm gonna dye my hair blonde for this we role bro. I gotta get to character can I, can I, I tell tips. you a deep, a deep cut reference deep um, cut references okay. one of, wait wait I hate this guy it's not, <laughs> it's not a deep cut reference but it's like a really old memory I have when I first met you was that I was telling you about it um, it was probably like June 2021, if I had to guess. And I had finished m- shooting my um, short film, like a personal project. And I, the one of the first conversations I had with you was like, oh, I just made this movie. I'm still editing it. And you went, oh, I would love to see it when it's done. Still haven't finished it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, it listen, I mean, you've done, I mean, you've done short films. Like, yeah, it's to. kind of the thing where even like famous people will be like, I filmed that. I had no idea if it was ever going to make it to screen. And mm-hmm. then people were asking me like, that was amazing. How was it? They're like, what are you talking about? The problem about? is that I sent all the actors their footage early, so there was no fire under my ass to actually finish it so that I could send the movie to them to use mm. on their reel. Like, they already have they what they got their need. reels already. They out. Yeah. That's yeah, the, yeah. 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 That's smart. Yeah. It's no, definitely it's getting smart. in a film you gotta, festival, you gotta, you gotta, for sure. You gotta though. hold on to it. You gotta yeah. hold on to it. Oh, yeah, man, I still... I, the problem is that yeah. it's it's like a long story. I was having, like, <laughs> Buddy, technical yeah, difficulties with it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking... You're thinking really small. Oh, yeah, oh platforms? Uh, oh, okay. All right. We'll talk about it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I had it. I had it. DC is thinking small, but it's also no. No, I'm re- talking about like Cannes Film Festival, yeah. Tribeca. I mean, like, that's but, not small. By the way, movies that go to streaming right. still do that. Um, yeah. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I would love to go to a prim- film festival, bro. I like that. But no, I think it's gonna be really fun. I think yeah. also having like, even you a part. Of that, I said I was like, bro, we have a female voice. We have fucking sure. And all the things we have, me and me and me and Kev. Yeah, these guys. Um, you so, guys all sound different, and I think that's why this is doing will do well as a podcast. Oh, one thousand percent. Because like, it, it doesn't. I mean, I guess uh, most of our audience is visual rather than audio, but like, I feel like if you do, you pussies, keep filming. I'm making that the thumbnail. <laughs> oh no! Guys, I uh, <laughs> I feel like for I only listen to podcasts like ones that I'm just truly a fan of that I have no affiliation with. I only listen to them, and it doesn't matter what you look like if you all sound different. It helps. That's great. Yeah, 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 it does, yeah. It does. I can only different listen. Energies. To like a Joe Rogan podcast or something. Yeah. Every other podcast is like I got. Like I can only listen to Gas Digital now. They just really? a, there's a flow. You're there. just saying that because I'm here. Nah, that's dude. actually a good uh, of Gas Digital good now. plug. Spe- <laughs> Speaking of Gas Digital now, the new episode Kevin Sanchez. Is oh there. yeah, Ooh, yeah, he was my co-host. Blind Mike quit. Blind Mike and I got in a fight. <laughs> Blind Mike, <laughs> dude, Blind Mike's been picking me. Yeah. Nah, we we were both feeling it last week. It, th- it was a rough Thursday. Yo, Blind week. Mike be getting his shit off, bro. Yo, he got fa- me, bro. My favorite is Blind Mike threw like a a, a, a thing at her. It was like, well, I mean, I can't get this done. And then Natalie just did one of those things. Like, then let's not do it. <laughs> was the and then you just watch Blind Mike go. 
I'll he, go into the other room. I went, I went, I'll do it. I'll do it. We can do it. He's like, we don't have enough to, to talk about. And I was like, yes, we do. You're lying. If there's some other reason you I don't mean, want I've to been, I've been talking. I was talking so for like an hour 15. Good job, episode. You are. Oh, I mean, thank I, you. You're Kevin Sanchez. I am Kevin Sanchez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It right. was Harrington's idea to have me record it with somebody else. So you got you have him oh, nice. to thank for me. <laughs> and, oh, who also recommended Kevin and knew it was going to be a great episode. <sighs> I mean. Listen. I'm, I'm not going to name names. I mean. Listen, right. if there's one thing that's great about Dylan, is that Nothing. he supports his friends. I, he really it. does. This is true. He really does. So, like, everybody... That, it's like, the one only thing. Has two. Not the one thing. I'm just kidding. I'm saying... Three. No. Do you count Carol at four? Yeah. Four? <laughs> that's your I don't count her as a friend. Count. That's a f- hey, the friends in the title. That's even higher. That's yeah, even that's, more than a friend. That's just for the girl to feel good about it. Wait, wait. And then, Jorge, are we friends? Co-workers. Yeah, we're work friends. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it's work. I was going to say. Right, right. No, that's real. That's back real. down to four. That's if real, you that's said real. that you and Dylan were friends and not me and you, I would have been really upset. <laughs> Jorge. And that was on shrooms. Are we friends? Yo, dude, Kevin's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jorge every knows the minutes, timing. He, him and, and, and Blind Mike, every five minutes I go, I'm going to fucking kill you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I go, awful. we're friends, but I'm going to fucking kill you. That's right how you know it's good friendship. Yeah, yeah. Um, wait, I got. Oh shit! Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Um, Should Natalie, we plug? Let, let's go. Does he know where the plug music is? I'll put it in post. We'll put it in post. Um, forty-nine minute mark. Uh, guys, go follow Doped Up Comedy at Doped Up Comedy. We're gonna go, go follow one of the shows. March fifth, we're at the stand. Woo! Yes, we are. That's hey, Sunday. Hey, who come, hey, who's on there. that show? My oh, that's, uh, that's Big J. Oh, oh, what? They're pulling a meal. What? Uh, uh, Hannah Roshley. Maddie Smith. Okay. Woo! DC Williams. Yes, no. Kevin. Accidente Sanchez. Let's go. No, technically, I'm an accident. You run. Yeah. I'm, I'm beyond the accident. I'm a miracle. Yo, he getting yeah. good with the drops. Oh, yeah, yeah, but and, then your, and then yours truly will be hosting it. The most. I'll be there too. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Who's headlining? Dylan Megan. <laughs> can you imagine yeah. if you Big hosting okay. and headlining? Big J. I'm saying, oh, can you, okay. can you imagine if Big J opened and you were headlining? No, yeah, Ro, me and Ro were talking. He's like, dude, because we did his show. He did his show, and I was. He's like, dude, your lineup should be like J, then you, then then like DC. I was like, I, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. No, go, Jay should. Go, no, Jay goes at the end. I can't I, I follow that, obviously. Yeah. No, yeah. That's, <laughs> what, what are we talking about? Like, but, guys, go follow me really personally. Sick. At Dylan J. Negri. Let's go do at Dope Sure, you Comedy. would follow him. Go do... <laughs> Go do all the fun things. I honestly, Natalie, I might kick you to producer and make <laughs> Natalie the third mic. So you can talk over us in the booth and Natalie can put her hands up to shut you the fuck up. Maybe we'll put you on this side so you can see Natalie just waving like DC, just chill. It's all right. We'll get to you, buddy. We'll get to you. I'm about to I gotta branch off and do daily dose. It's a sub pod of Dope Dope. Like- Dope. <laughs> Daily Dose. It's a 10 minute pod. <laughs> Daily about Dose shit. sponsored by Fuck It Round 2. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's fire. That's fire. I would never sponsor your show. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then also say nice to me. Gotta have Kevin money Sanchez. to do that. Kevin, tell him where you find <laughs> you. At my girlfriend's house in the West. <laughs> Oh yeah, Philly. you're home. That's fire, though. Yeah. Tell them where to find you. Yo, <laughs> like, no. yo, yo where should we find you? Inside my lady. <laughs> I like that. Like right, that honestly, right? bro, you're good. Tell, Go tell follow them where to find me on, 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 the, on the Upper West Side, upper dog. Upper West Side. So funny, and I'm talking 90th, not 110th. Yeah, yeah, dog. We get money out And by the way, <laughs> and by the way, and if you didn't already know, his girlfriend is. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no. Nah, Across uh, the t- oh, yeah. I have mixed feelings about that drop. I love it. I love <laughs> it. Wild Kevin Sanchez on Instagram. Wild Kevin Sanchez on Twitter. Wild Kevin Sanchez on YouTube. That's a wild everything. boy. And guys, uh, I want to say before we get move on the other side of the table, uh, doped up uh, comedy also returns again March 9th and the 23rd at Con Body Lower East Side Ooh, Secret fun. lineups. Shout out to that's gonna be at, yeah. Shout out Derek Dresher and uh, um, everyone at Con Body. That's gonna be at 8 p.m. Come on. March 9th, Come March on. 23rd. Tickets Go are get, already moving by. You, Come yeah, on. you already get tickets. Right now, I mean, the, the Sunday show is already sold out. Come so on, you gotta get tickets to this go. show. I'll be there. Sunday show sold out. Let's fucking you gotta get tickets go. To the next show. And that's how that that's how this shit works. I don't know what to tell go. you. On the other side of the table, and the reason why we always do the guest last, Natalie, is yeah. because you I've save asked. the best for last. Also, skip me. Um, no, we're going to you. No, next. we're going to you. I was I'm explaining. Last. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. DC. DC Williams Comedy. You can follow me there. Uh, this Saturday, I'll be at Westside Comedy Club at 7 p.m. Please come through. It's going to be a great fucking show. And uh, make sure you pop out. Who shows out. that? Um, 
What's that? Uh, I don't know. But um, <laughs> make sure you pop out March 5th, Sunday, 9 p.m. We will be in the building. And um, we're going to be at the stand, man, guys. Let's, so let's come out and celebrate. And last but not least, I mean, the most important woman in my life other than my girlfriend. And I mean that because she does so much for this podcast, <laughs> so lot. much for this fucking crew. Come on, man. And she's believed in us before literally on, the times that we stopped believing in yeah. us. So this is... Natalie, tell me to find This you. show airs every week because of me. Right. <laughs> uh, no, that, that's, that, that was a flex. Hey, that was that's real. Flex. It's real. It's real. <laughs> Natalie DeChico edits on Instagram, D E C I C C O underscore edits. Uh, watch Gas Digital now on YouTube with me and Blind Mike on the Gas Digital exclusive yes, YouTube sir. channel. If you're a fan of Gas Digital Network, chances you're gonna are, love that show. You're chances gonna love are it. there's a show that you like that I'm the engineer for. So Ooh, anything on. Yeah. Talk your oh, shit, yo, man. Yo, she oh, and get your uh, shit off. She Man, talk your shit, talk man. Bro, I'm and telling you, man, if you work with me, you got to have some type of confidence. You got to. And Natalie, no, no, mute all the mics. Come on, son. Last thing, um, I you. lost it. It's gone. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. You f- oh, doped up comedy on Instagram. I make all the clips for that. Hey, Begrudgingly, also, because begrudgingly. Dylan gives me edits that I don't like, but I do them anyway, and then the clip does well. So <laughs> she begrudgingly does them. We begrudgingly pay her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That's real. No, that's real. See that last part you said? Um, Dylan gives me edits on the clips sometimes, and I hate them, but I do them anyway, and then the clip does well. It's- I really didn't want it to. Did I you- really, like, very bitterly was like, I hope this clip sucks. Oh, I know you do. By the way, I know you do. It's doing great. By the way. But so is mine. Two for two. You're two for two. The new one. Have you not watched it? I'm two for two. You're right. The last two from Zach Amico's podcast. Zach Amico came on the podcast. If you're... If go watch it. What are you doing? Zach. Why are you even watching this episode? Shoot go back yourself if it. you're still watching this one and you haven't watched that one. It's true. Blow your brains out. Go watch or Zach. Or watch it after, you know. Or the, it's <laughs> the great... The episode's yeah. probably almost you know over. I don't know how much longer. Go watch it after. Yeah. But that's one of the greatest episodes, if not the greatest episode that we've ever done. It's so perfect the great from the back. And Zach's clips are going crazy viral. I mean, they're doing great. They're on Instagram. I, 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 turn on, I thought it was the other clip. The new one's also doing great. Yeah. Natalie, yeah. I mean, you're it killing is. it. You're it killing is. it. But to be fair, your clip has 7,000 views. Mine has like almost 200,000. Oh! oh! I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Big stunner. I don't know, man. Big I didn't, so I, didn't throw, saying, I didn't, I didn't throw re edits on that one. What, what are you're you right. doing on your clips that you're not doing Ooh, on ours? No, that? he's right. It's no, he's right. He's, right. he's right. No, he's no, right. he's I'm talking not, about no, it's for it's for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Listen. No, me. he's right. He's right. But the, the 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 one that I'm talking about is the one that was like my child, and then I feel like the other uh, one is your child. Oh, one thousand percent, your child. I, I knew. You, by the way, what did I tell you? I said post your child first. Yours was the you first did. born. I knew you it. did. Um, no one cares about this. I actually yeah. will say a little inside baseball or uh, and, be, and oh, yeah. a little behind the sh- scenes of this podcast. When we did the rebrand and we changed it from doped up and dying to just doped up, it's still on the fucking thing, it's still on the flag. Because Everyone's like, "Oh, what? I didn't even notice." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you know what's crazy? Oh, I just realized. <laughs> Told that. someone the other day at, at Yo, fucking. You, know the, you don't gotta put my glasses well, 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 on and become me, wait, bro. Wait, wait. <laughs> Told someone at you Tiny Cupboard. They're did. like, they're like, Yo, "What do you want me to say when I bring you?" Up? I was like, "Just say doped up podcast." Goes up there and said, DC Willis from the Outcast podcast. I was like, yo, ah! how are y'all still fucking it up? We took dying out. How, bro? So what dying makes Say doped up comedy. Doped, doped up comedy. Doped up podcast? How do you fuck that up? Uh, they, Anyways, they, yeah. They're, they're, know, ho- they're hosts of the Tiny Cupboard? I don't know. <laughs> uh, also, also, I'm doing the Tiny Cupboard tomorrow. Oh, God, this is going to air. You're done. Shout out to Tiny Cupboard. Oh, my cover. God. It was great. It, was, it, it happened a, already. Wow. What a show. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, a little behind the scenes here. Uh, Nat, when we rebranded the podcast and everything, uh, I, I told Natalie at one point, I go, I want a clip for DC, a clip for Kevin, a clip for me, and a clip for the guest. Count that. That's four clips. Mm-hmm. That is way too much. Plus a long one. That's and five. plus a long one. And then finally, once we rebranded, I, st- I, I said, I was like, listen, you guys are going to be funny as hell. Every week, the amount of text, like, Natalie, I'll be fucked up. And the amount of times I have to, like, sit there and just do heavy breathing, I'm like, about what? Re- watching her. So send it to if me. They like, used to go out much later, much she'll easier. Send me a clip and like, now you need to like approve them first. So that's why I, pr- I, I approve every time. clip that gets posted on Doped Up. That's good. And you, you can't forget to make I the promotional, the promotional post. This guy forgets to make the promotional post. People are like, yo, what happened? You still doing the pod? I'm like, yes, bro. What do you mean? Honestly, like, I didn't see you post. It. I was like, oh, my homie probably forgot to make the clips, bro. That's or make the promo shit. That's I'll be really, really funny. The, it, it, it depends how excited I wake up on Sunday. I, I guess so. I'm like, he probably did shrooms and forgot to yeah, do the yeah, fucking yeah. shit. Yeah, I'd be, be waking up late. He's I did the thumbnail, to, he, though. But that's why he's doing shrooms to cry. I was I feel you, you got to live your life, but it's that just is true. funny, bro. I, I go, I, I didn't post the social media post. 
But it's only when you don't when you don't post that people are like, yo, y- y'all y'all still doing the pod? Like, all right, fine. Yeah, I'll keep posting what them. The fuck? Like, all right, now that we did the plugs and everything, the plugs lasted forty minutes. Yeah, they did. Um, let's go to the munchies moment presented by fucking. Uh, I'm so excited! Two. I was born for this. Um, new <laughs> episode coming soon. Um, Natalie. You already know the fucking truth. I know what the questions are. <laughs> I could just answer without you even asking them to Sour me. candy or chocolate? Chocolate. Grilled cheese or cheese quesadilla? Quesadilla. Sorry. Hi, uh, high sea fruit punch or Kool-Aid? Fruit punch. Chicken sandwich or burger? Chicken. Chicken wings or chicken sandwich? This is the one that stumped me. I'm going to say chicken sandwich. <sighs> I don't agree there. I had a chicken sandwich today. Popping. <laughs> I, w- I would eat. I've eaten. I eat chicken DC, sandwiches way more than I eat insane, chicken wings. Bro. Best fast food restaurant. I'm very partial to Burger King, even though I know it's trash. That is crazy. It's what I grew up with. Best item at uh, Burger King. The no. gr- the chicken sandwich, Hamburglar. the fried chicken sandwich. Oh, that's what you get. Yeah. yeah. How sandwich? do you feel about the chicken fries? I like them. I like I liked them more as a kid. They're kind of nice. when I, did, I was before I, also, I did sandwiches. You had chicken fries as a kid. Yeah. Like yeah. when like years ago. They kid, brought them but back. like t- meaning like twelve. They brought them back because some uh, kid made a video every day of his life talking about bringing them back, and then Tosh.0 brought them on uh, Tosh.0, and they made a whole thing of like bringing the chicken fries back, and I'm dead serious. They've been back ever since. What they the have. Fuck? They I swear to God. It's, Burger it's King so also has, I think, I, I don't fuck with onion rings that much, but. Their onion rings are kind of trash. I'm not Best gonna you. food or drink to pair with your edible? Something. Uh, I. The the most visceral food and high memory I have is fried chicken. Like the first time I ever That's had an edible, I was <laughs> in the fridge. I had this like leftover f- cold fried chicken, and I was like, "This is the most amazing thing I've ever eaten in my entire life." Yeah, it, Nat- was, it was like Shoprite food. It was like grocery store. I food. promise, I'm unplugging the iPad after this. Natalie takes one bite of fried chicken, high as fuck, and just simply talks like, "I'm simply just better than y'all niggas." <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna do. She's loving it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that's what you were gonna do. <laughs> that's good too. I was so wait. You doing Next you, you ate you ate fried chicken? I, I ate fried chicken and alternated fried chicken and chocolate alternated. ice cream and it was chocolate the best ice experience cream? of my fucking life. That's actually cool. it's really What's good. Wait, alternated wait, wait. fried chicken, is that what you just said? Bite? Took a bite. Ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. And you're high. I was high. What do you Savory and, and sweet. It was the best. It's the way to go. And this is and you know this That is, is insane. And first you know, first time high, yeah. I know you know this is important. What are you watching when you're high now? Um What are you watching? Dope the puck. Oh, okay. I really want to watch Hey Arnold with you guys. Oh, <laughs> that's fire! But what episode are we doing? That's fire. Um, the one where we can do um, any episode in the, in the uh, whatever you want. Honestly, the first one is great, where they're uh, in the fruit costumes. The fruit first costumes? Episode? Should we the do the first episode? I was gonna say Stoop Kid or, or Stoop Kid is great and Stoop Bird Guy. Bird the Bird Stoop Guy. Kid. So you're gonna so if you're gonna that's do my hey Arnold, answer. You're that's my Stoop answer. The Bird Guy. Bird Guy is we doing it? Yeah. So if you're gonna do top like five, uh, Pigeon hey Man. Pigeon Man, Pigeon Stoop, Man. Uh, Stoop, Stoop Kid, Kid uh, the Turtle episode. The Turtle episode if you, is if good. If you want my, yeah. our viewers to cry, we put on that fucking Turtle episode. The Turtle episode. episode. I would, I, I would yeah, like the dude. Bird Guy one, too. Hey, it's like up I'd, for debate what happens to him at the end. If oh, I have yeah. one more White Claw, I, will, my, I might cry. I love that. <laughs> have, give him another White Claw. Have another White Claw. I might cry. Because I always said, you know what happened? I had this fourth one, and I wanted to say, you know what, Nat? I just realized I love you. Also, by the way, <laughs> I, re- I realized Blind Mike was mad that we asked for Tom and then just didn't do it. Good, good for He's Mike. right. He was right. Good for no, him. he he good did. He came, he did. Uh, Tom said he was busy. Okay. Oh. Um, also, um, people don't. You notice. couldn't have let him have the credit. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. We, we about to get Blind Mike balls. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Corey goes. Nah, it's my competition. <laughs> Yo, if Blind Mike didn't have balls. Wouldn't you not be surprised though? <laughs> like if you saw, <laughs> if you saw this nigga naked and you're like, guys, <laughs> you're like, ah. <laughs> guys, that's DC Williams. And you know what? Yeah. The, that's DC Williams. The. <laughs> on the podcast saying, <laughs> you, know, you know what It's time to end this episode wait, wait, wait. No 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 We got, we got more I questions gotta, We got more qu- Bro I gotta pee then, And I gotta be out bro, No you don't then bro It's 830 Run, Jersey pee. City bro Alright Go pee Go pee, go pee. Go pee. Go pee. We'll, we'll finish when you get back Yeah Best uh, best food from your childhood You still eat now Chips Ahoy uh, That's soft, classic Chewy or crunchy Crunchy I like you know, um, you can take crunchy, put them in the microwave for like five, ten seconds, and yeah. they become perfect. Can Honestly, I've though? never been inclined to heating up snacks. Even Pop Tarts, I'll eat cold. Uh, I'll heat wow. up. That's uh, another one from my childhood: is the n- cinnamon uh, brown I'm sugar ones. I'm a, uh, cinnamon brown sugar or strawberry no, 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 no. cinnamon. What no, DC? Fucking, what? Um, what, 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 what my say? child? What did you just say before the uh, Pop Tart shit? Um, uh, put it in the microwave. Gro- chocolate oh, chip cookie. Chocolate, chocolate chip cookies. Do, am I tripping, or are the crunchy cookies yes. not better than the soft ones? 
I always the crunchy think ones. That. You dunk them in milk. Okay. Yeah, I don't like yeah. chewy so, cookies. Wait, so I like homemade chewy. I like so yeah, I don't, exactly. I always like the yeah. idea of the chewy cookies. The problem with the chewy cookies is whatever um, ingredient they do to keep them soft and that long tastes is, bad. It there's a, like a, a, a factory taste to yeah. it. That's what I'm saying. So I agree. I'll I never agree. eat the chewy ones because the crunchy ones don't have. That. Yeah, That's what I'm I agree. saying, Completely. bro. People always be like, no, get the chewy. I'm like, bro. Chewy cookies if come out the oven. you're getting a chewy oven. cookie, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, 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 you get out the yeah, oven. Yeah, totally. You don't fucking if buy it from the store. If it's store. chewy three weeks later, bro, like, no. check your no. cookie. It's like, what's wrong with nah. it? Yeah, what's wrong with the cookie? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I agree with that yeah. completely. You walk into a bodega, you have five seconds to order. What do you say? I'm from Jersey, so I'm going to say, if I'm in Jersey, Taylor. I'm the Italian meatball. <laughs> no, if I'm, from, if I'm in Jersey, I'm going to say Taylor ham, egg, and cheese. Oh, uh-huh. Taylor that ham? Flows, that flows. What's Taylor What's ham? Taylor ham? Is that a type of ham? It is a Jersey delicacy. Can you Google Taylor ham, Jorge? I'm sorry to make you do Also this known as pork roll for my South Jersey friends. Oh, wait, wait, wait. it's a pork roll? Yes. So you're ordering a, So it's a pork roll? Pork roll, egg, and cheese, yeah. So it, On a hard roll. But is, that, is what he's going to Google, is it just going to yeah. show a pork roll? It's like saying, um, it's like saying Kleenex or tissues. Taylor ham is just the brand name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But that's what we call it. Like I mean. Q-tip or something. That shit, the one with the runny egg, that's what I'm fucking ordering. <laughs> you fuck with runny eggs? I do yeah, fuck with a runny dude. egg on a sandwich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I live over a deli and I'll order the components of a sandwich and then I'll go upstairs and make it myself. Like, Which, I don't like them to make it for me. That's hilarious. I don't trust them. That's Because they're going to put American cheese on it and then they're going to cook the eggs hard and I don't want either of that. I hate that. Every, every, time, I hate you, that, wait, every time you go to a store to get a... No, no, no. I live over a deli. So... No, I'm every time you go to the deli... You I always don't... order your um your sandwich tapas? No, no, no. If I'm in New York, I'm obviously going to order a sandwich. But if I'm home and I have my kitchen upstairs, I'll just order the parts from the deli. But what are you doing in the kitchen? You're just putting... Just, you're just sitting there I'm just cooking the eggs the way I like them to be. Oh, cooked. you're cooking the eggs? Yeah. Over easy, right? Yeah, over yeah, yeah. Over easy. Oh, you go get a... Ho- oh, okay. I, I'll should get, I, I, obviously... <laughs> I thought you were going up to the deli guy and no, being like, no, no, no. cook me an egg, make me a bacon, egg, and cheese, but separate no, no, all no, of no, them. No, 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 no. I just mean like when I'm home, I'll go downstairs gotcha. and get Taylor ham from the deli slicer and I'll get a roll. Gotcha. I'll go upstairs, I'll cook an egg, and I'll put them together. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, respect. Um, Bougie in particular. <laughs> oh, no, that's, I respect it. Nah, that's right though, because sometimes you order a sandwich with egg on it at the deli and they'll scramble Hard it. or scrambled, like, yeah. Bro, fuck come that. On, bro. Want a scrambled sandwich. And egg. and sometimes you'll get it like an American craft single and it won't be melted all the way. Yeah, I hate American craft single cheese. Fuck that. It's funny when like uh the egg's not running when you say it. I'm like, motherfucker, isn't this your job? Yeah, literally. Yeah. I know what you're gonna ask me next. What? Deli well, it, it's kind of part of this question, but like the snacks, like if you're just gonna get a snack. Yep. Is uh uh Chex Mix savory like the onion flavored one? Onion Chex Mix? What? It's like savory, but it's, it tastes like you know, onion powder. You know who's someone up. who's okay. brought me the best snacks at the studio? Who's that? You. Now you yeah, always that's right. Yo, yeah. Did you bring those goldfish here? Yeah. Yeah, I had oh, my goldfish. Those goldfish were fire, I had my goldfish bro. She put, I me on to, I was... she put me on to Old Bay. I have so much Old yeah. Bay. Me and Carolyn are obsessed with Old Bay bro. because of you. So good. That's yeah. Old Bay. What's bro. Old Bay? Old Bay goldfish. It's a seasoning. Pack. Old Coffee. Bay. It's like Larry, bro. Go, bro. Old no, Bay no. goldfish. <laughs> Talking to the mic. Crazy. Adobo? Oh, yeah, no, you know Adobo? You spat it. Adobo? Back up on the mic. You want to hear something? You can't do anything right. You want to hear something? What? You're gay. I think it's. You want to hear something? I think you're gay. Stop coming from your butt, you fucking. You think it? You think about him coming because he shits it, it, way it more than he me. does. I bet you Kevin's never up. thought about me. No, coming. because he shits under my home, and I'm hey, wondering this come on the walls. Hey, you never thought you know how that? Shit wait, 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 wait. What did you say? I said I bet Kevin's never thought about me coming. Exactly. Nope. Oh, not, no, once. No, not once. <laughs> not once. Only on this podcast. <laughs> I, I'm, you know, you know, As the like, fucking zoomers <laughs> say, it lives in his head right now. It does, bro. He be in his bed like that. What if DC taking a shit right now? Do you guys understand how interesting butt comes? Is. Yo, don't be surprised. I come more than you, bro. Okay, don't, don't, don't like, Ooh, don't hate, bro. Wait. Boy, Jamaica, Jamaica. Wait, wait. I don't need bitches wait, to come. I just need wait, a bowel movement. Wait, wait. <laughs> Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. don't brag about that. Don't brag about we that. We had Sarah Edelman on the yeah. podcast, and we were all supposed Shout to go to get, a, and yeah, we were yeah. all supposed to get a cum study to figure out yeah. who has the largest load, the largest load contest here on Doped Up Comedy. Like it's Kev, bro. 
know why. I feel like it's Kevin, bro. It's not, I've, trained, I've trained myself over the years what? to not come that hard. It's, it's just shit like why? a shooter or like a spout. It comes why? out and like runs down the side. Just being careful. And it's a... Um, uh, it's not going to help. You look like a bat She's not going to get less pregnant. <laughs> I, I do look like that guy. <laughs> I made jokes like that on stage. Yeah, yeah. But that's only wishful thinking and wish and hopefulness. Now, Kevin... I, I, I'm a dripper. You're I, mad at oh, I, 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 Not a dripper, like a streamer. Is there one that's more <laughs> desirable? Yeah, the, like to, if you're like, man, boss. I wish I could come like that. Which to one me, would you pick? Is that a dude thing? I want, yeah. I wanted to be rather it fucking. Oh yeah, I want it to be like a shot. Yeah, like, I want every guy wants that. I want bro. a bishop. All right, knock her head back. <laughs> I, I, I want to some recoil when, in that one. When, when, I, when I come, I want to go. I want to go to go. Oh shit! I, I just learned recently that dudes Clip like. It. <laughs> I just learned recently that it's desirable for dudes to have low hanging balls. I'm like, I've never thought about that nah, once in my fucking life. Nah, I have had low hanging balls my whole life. That's I, not. That's not what I, I want. I just thought I'm getting it. You get low hanging balls. Like it. Oh, it's yo, the 30s. Yo, Kev, it's so funny that you want to go just to, every yeah. time. Yeah. Every time I was, you don't want a chick to expect it. Yeah, like she like she knows how it's gonna come. She holding her hand out and nah, shit. That's like, like, embarrassing. Yeah, like, bro. More please. Yeah. Oh, you want to see vital, knows. bro? All right, uh, Natalie. I mean, we already went through some of the joy questions. You're not already. Uh, you, you, He's man. 25, so you're, he comes like a firecracker, dude. Oh. <laughs> he just have my bad bro. Man, who's <laughs> thinking about who's come now? <laughs> I know you come like a firecracker. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> when is he gonna stop? <laughs> Jesus Christ! His, Cal, I, mean, I gotta uh, put these. Back <laughs> I'm sorry. His girl's like, yo, Natalie, just... can you be mean to them for me? <laughs> I, it's it's okay. Is this the Fourth of July? <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, what are you celebrating? <laughs> Straight men are so gay. It's unreal. Yo, Carolyn's been saying I'm sixteen percent gay, dude. That straight men are super gay. I so I so funny you say this. I wanted to text you last week because I was gonna say you're the only other person I can actually have this conversation with. Carolyn's been pointing it out, bro. Straight men are gay. Are gay, are gay, gay bro. dude. Sh- Bro, Crazy I mean, when you start listening to like the LGBT, but I think everyone is fluid, bro. These motherfuckers are so gay. So gay. And bro, me and bro, there's not like I, we not, were not in a not, gay like uh, dress I, like I was, <laughs> fake. I was <laughs> complimenting. I was complimenting. Uh, uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? There was like a fighter. Or, like, I think it was like Sydney. I was like, bro, when you yeah. were fighting and sparring, and I was like, yo, yo, how, I was like, the way you move your body, I was like. Yo, this sounds so gay right now. Yeah. Like, like it's out loud. Dude's you're like, talking but we're not about gay. MMA. Yeah, we're not gay for no reason though. <laughs> we're not. It's not like it's not for nothing. I'm gay for pay. <laughs> but, but, no, no, but not even. You're like gay for like Dwayne Wade and the big three. You know what I mean? The yeah, big three. You like, you like the big three. Like you dog. would take the big three. Yo, <laughs> Dylan, okay, you wait, take wait, the wait. big three, wait, dog. Wait. Can I say? <laughs> you would take the big three. Pause. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, what? What was the context? <laughs> what was the context for Carolyn saying that? I'm sorry, I'm still in shock. Wait, Dylan, Dylan, I got a, I got a, I got a question. Hold on, wait, hold on. I, hold all right, fine. Go first, go first, go first, go first. They've taken Dylan, over. Dylan, they've taken it, over. Don't forget it. Dylan, I gotta ask. Yes. Miami. Oh. I know it's yes, by the way. Oh no, it's not. Right. <laughs> D. Wade, LeBron James, and Chris Bosh has to come on your face. <laughs> But they win. I can't, bro. They win every ring together. Oh, that's a great question. Right? That's a great question. Oh, that's a great question. They win every every ring. Every year they win together. The whole but I have a long five years, six years. Every every ring. (laughs) (laughs) This is doped up. The podcast. This is doped up. Oh the my God. Sunday morning smell show. Natalie DeChico, thank oh you so much for joining us to be a part of the team. Guys, we'll see you next week. Whee!